Hello YouTube, Jerry Kirkpatrick here and I'm standing here in a large void uh, in this area. I had a great big green rack that went from here all the way past my mill and lathe uh, DROs that are waiting to be installed. I had all of my product that I used to sell to blacksmiths and as you know just recently well in December I sold the blacksmithing product portion of my business and in this big rack is where I kept all of the all of the parts that I used to manufacture and ship out and sell but recently I made the shed a foot higher so now it's usable I took this green rack and put it out in the shed which opened up a considerable amount of room in this in my shipping area the problem with that is that on the end of the rack is where I kept my chains and binders and now I have to find another place to put them I found the place now I have to make the rack so I was looking around out in all of my scrap and I found this thing and I had two of them well I still have two of them and these came on the hoist the four post, four post hoist that I bought a couple of years ago and this is like two inch angle iron it already has some holes already drilled in it so that'll save me a little time if I can cut them out at the, at the proper locations that will uh, allow me to use those as they are and the length of the sides will be just fine so now that I have the material let's take this thing over into the shop and get it laser cut apart so I can start laying out the uh, different sides. There will be two sides, four bolts, and two cross pieces that I can hang my chains on one rack and then a second one where my binders will be hanging. another job well done well I must say that if you are looking for uh, something to remove the rust from your parts evapo rust is great uh, I just left it overnight came back in the morning and they were just beautiful I mean no rust they're right down to the bare metal and uh, so if you're looking for a rust remover 
I would say evapor rust is the one to use and this is not a commercial I had to pay for this stuff and uh, I'm glad I did so after I got them out of the soaking overnight uh, just hit them with a wire brush and and you're done uh, one thing I found out after getting all the parts out that no two legs are the same uh, on this one where the holes are on this one they're a inch and three quarter the tall leg is two on this one where the holes are were two inches and the other side was an inch and three quarter no match on the spreaders that I'm going to use uh, this one original was a long leg and a short leg these were equal distance so I took my plasma cutter and trimmed off the excess length for this one so now I have two that are the same length legs even though they are uh, atypical long leg short leg and with the length to stay out of the way of the two holes on either side for putting the lag screws in to the rack that I have outside I found that I'm going to have room for these two plus another uh, piece of quarter by inch and a half that I can hang other stuff on. The top will be for the chain. The second one will be for the binders. And then the third one uh, I can hang just anything I want but it'll be there so um, let's get moved around a little bit and I'll show you the welding fixture that I've put together to set all of this up and uh, do the tacking and welding okay so all I've got is a piece of angle iron two pieces of angle iron that are lined up square off of the edge of the table and then another long piece of angle iron squared on the bottom of the table I'll take the first one slide it up against there and to space these up even though they are not uh, equal height I chose a mean uh, one will butt right up against the top edge here and the other one will be a quarter of an inch low and holding chain I don't think that's going to be a problem so I put my first spacer here my second spacer here third spacer here and I have a red mark on the top edge of this channel which will be the top edge of each of the um, of the pieces here and we'll move this one over yeah, somewhat close let me put a piece a spacer up here that'll get me that spacing second one here gets me that one third one here now I can pull all of these tight together everything is down I can bring that to that red line that to that red line this one to that red line and 
red line there red line there and red line there so now these are down tight against this rail this is shoved over tight against these two I have everything lined up on my marks now all I have to do is tack one here then one over here one here one here and then I'll weld it up complete and I'll show it to you when it's uh, installed and the chains and binders are installed and here it is complete uh, I got it hung up and all of the chains and binders hung on it and I'm glad that I put that uh, third rail down at the bottom I've already got it half filled with spare chain and other links that I use when moving the implements around here on the on the piece of property so thank you very much for watching I know this wasn't a uh, very exciting build but it was something that I needed to get done in order to get other projects uh, out of the way so I can get back to building stuff here in the shop so thank you very much for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe and ring the bell see you in the next video bye